Yo, what's up, guys? Axelite Fox Ninja here, and we're back in our video. And welcome back again to Undertale. We are <laughs> here at Temi Village. So, just, we gotta go and get through the rest of the waterfall. Yeah, it's been a while since I played again. I mean, so we just. Okay, this isn't the right way. Wait. Okay, I can't go that way. So, yeah, we just. What did we do really? Washua and Aaron appeared. Dang it. Not these guys again. Okay, I can flee. Good. Just I want new enemies, so. I mean, next ball I I'll do, I'll just do it where I actually do it. You know. What's this? The candles are magic to guide them home. Monsters use crystals to, to navigate. Oh. Oh. I see. Well, this, is a, this is very problematic. Oh. Oh, I used the lantern thing. Oh, I should get my mouse off screen. Mold Big and Washua up here. Clean. Okay. Oh. Yes, got one. Spare him. Dang it. Unhug. Young hug won't think it appreciates the respect of its boundaries. Woo. Okay, phew. Darker. Behind you. Oh, I forgot my voice for her. Hi. Seven. Seven human souls. The power of seven human souls. Our king. King Asgore. Dreamer will become a god. Without power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance of redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Oh no. No, please! Undyne, I'll help you fight. Oh, I also forgot his voice, too. <laughs> Whatever. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> Cute little rascal. <laughs> You're not gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Ooh, there's a new path. Alright. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. Thanks. Hear your laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. That's sweet. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will turn, and the underground will go empty. Hmm. So, a human? Yep. 
Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. My throat's really watery right now. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Uh, I mean, if I say no, he's gonna get mad, but if I say yes, he'll be happy, so yes. Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Guess I have to do it, haha. Huh? Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Trip. Oh no! Yo, well, wait! Help! I tripped! Help, 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 okay. Oof. Y y yo, dude! If, if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. That reminds me from that quote from Harry Potter, you know, it's one thing to stand up to your enemies, it's another thing to stand up to your friends. Or in this case, heroes. But yeah. Yo, you really saved my skin. Just being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> well, we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Oh. Oh, there we go. Ooh, this looks on om ominous. Oh, here we go. <laughs> that is very cliche. I'm just gonna point out seven. Seven human souls. King Asgore will become a god. Six. I'm sad we're to go quiet or loud. I think I'll go quiet. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand that your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Ooh, backstory. It all started long ago. No, you know what? When you're about to nah! Oh boy. Music's awesome though. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books made me think humans were cruel. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. What does that even mean? But you! You're just a coward! I mind that kid so he can run away from me again. What? Are you just telling me I shouldn't have saved him? Bruh. That wasn't me who told him just, hey, you should stand in front of me so I don't die. That's dumb. Let's not forget your wimpy goody two shoe stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Why is everyone trying to kill me? Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Inspirational speech! Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> This is- Oh my gosh, this voice is gonna make my throat die. I can tell. The wind is howling, you're filled with determination. I don't think I'll be able to do her voice like that much. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come! 
Anger. I'm going to uh, spare. As long as you're green, you can't escape. So you'll learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Oh. Uh, that dime points heroically towards the sky. Just keep sparing. Not bad. Then how about this? Undyne Simplex is a huge boulder just because she can. For years we dreamed of a happy ending. Okay, less um throat hurting. Oh, oh, more um just regular talking, but with a threatening tone. And now suddenly it's just within our reach. So, easy so far. <coughs> Undyne Tower is threatening. Wait, I need my water, but it's way over there. I'd have to fill up. Only snatch it away from us. me this time, so I see how this plays out. Alright. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. No human has ever beaten past Asgore. Whoa! Whoa! My night flash is a menacing smile. I'm telling you now it's an active person. Ah! Just stop being so darn resilient! I don't want this, thank you very much. Oh boy! Go, 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 do, do, do. Well. It said, well, it said, escape from me for the last time. Okay, um, I need a heal item. What do I have? Oh, CT! That might help. Yeah. Alfie's told me humans were determined. See, that's what I thought would happen. Yep, the huge boulder again. I see now what you meant by that. Messing me up. But I'm determined to. Well, I die to her fists from her and shakes her head. Determined to end this right now. Oh no, is this where I die? That nearly gave me a heart attack. I'm bad at this one. Right now! Oh, I thought I pressed the wrong one. That's, that made me really scared. Right now! Oh. Good thing I have those cloudy glasses on. This really helps. Haha. <laughs> Welcome to Hotland. Oh no, who's calling me? The virus! No, why? Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. Stop running away! Okay. 
I'm at 1 HP, let's do this. Sans! Help! Okay, thank you, Sans, you were... He helped. What can I move? Armor! So hot! But I can't! Give up! Uh... Oh yeah, she's literally a fish out of water. She looks dry. Well, yeah! Thanks for staying the obvious, so... It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water. Okay, please don't kill me now. <laughs> Very awkward. I mean, there's probably a save point, right? So, Undyne talked about the... going to Undyne's house, so... Let, we might have to backtrack then. I mean, okay, laboratory entrance. Okay, so that's gonna be something else. That we gotta do. Oh, wait. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us it was totally a human in the area. So, like, us real guards are blocking out the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyways, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> okay, so this... Tra-la-la, -la, I am the river man. Remind of the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I'd love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Sure. Where will we go today? Waterfall. Nothing rough. Wait, what part of Waterfall will this take me to? Oh, this is peaceful. Pet, pet, pet. The neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. <laughs> oh, is he talking about that one dog from Snowden? Uh, some, something er dog. Lesser dog. Don't worry about it. Okay. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Oh, I love this part of the soundtrack. Use the box? Sure. Dun, 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 dun. Hope let's go in here. Let's buy a crab apple. We can get other items later. Be careful out there, kid. Oh wait, do I have to go back? Cause there was a house that looked like a fish. I, yep, okay, here we are. Yeah, let's save again. You feel a calming tranquility, you're filled with determination. Oh, it's so peaceful. I love this part of the soundtrack. I was right. Wait, oh yeah. What? 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 It's a living. Dummy. <laughs> uh -huh. Aho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Sure. Hopefully she doesn't <laughs> stabby 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 me. Okay, stand behind me. Yes, please protect me, Papyrus. Pissed. <laughs> Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Oh. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two... Come in! <laughs> the is like, huh? Huh? Okay. Wait, what would happen if I just randomly left? Like, if I, like after all that, 
Like, both of them go in, and I just left and finished the game. What would happen? Someone needs to try that out. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. How's you have any bones left? So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remember, I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> Talk about property damage. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? If I say yes, I'll get really mad, so... Then why are you here? Hmm? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? <laughs> Never with you. Yeah. Really? How delightful! I accept! Oh no, that, no, that was flowy. Let's all fro- I can't do fl- Let's all frolic in the field of friendship! Okay, that's the voice. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. Jeez. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Oh, no. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a w wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... BESTIES. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, this is the other music from the... When you went on a date with Papyrus. Uh, I mean... Sit down. Oh, sit down, progress. Um, let's see. One time, Alfie's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. I mean, who won? What's this? In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Oh, that's nice. This oven is some top of the line MTT thing. MTT. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food. <clears throat> I felt a burp coming along. Nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. Do you have that? Wouldn't it just be food home cooked with spear magic? There's a silverware drawer, it has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, and nunchucks. That would be amazing just to make food with. I mean, Gordon Ramsay would not prove, but who cares? I hate cold food. Zombies fix up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. So, huh? It's kind of cool. You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. I don't know what she's into, but okay. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Cause in case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans w wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? I mean, noobs versus zombies, <laughs> Roblox. Yes, fine. Heh, <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alfie's built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's a smart. Oh, she. Not she's a smart. She's smart, huh? She sure talks about Alfie's a lot. Sit down and progress? Heck yeah! Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink.
All set. What would you like? Uh... <laughs> hey! Don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, I just point to what you want. You can use the spear. <laughs> yeah, use the thing that just tried to kill me. Great. Um, we have... Undyne. We have... Sugar, goes and tea. So the sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. That's a, that's a blue cylinder. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Well, why would we do that right then? Fridge. Full of food. Sword. Acquired taste. Let's start the sword. Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords if you were my beloved house guest. Dang it, I switched into Flowey again. House guest. Okay, I can also select Undyne, apparently. Are you hitting on me? That pun. I don't know. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like, the ice cream woman? The human ice cream woman terrorized humanity with energy spears? Or her ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? Well, I mean, some sirens, I'm pretty sure, have, uh, you know, like, when tornadoes go off, right before them, there's, like, some sirens. Like, some are cows, some... I think some might be the, actually the ice cream thing, so... I mean, sure. What? Really? That rules! I need to turn down my volume, because I'm getting too into this. Fridge. Fridge! You want to have the entire fridge? I mean, I've done that before. <laughs> no! Oh. Uh, I'm sure I can have soda. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remember. That container is empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. I must have a pretty big beard then. Sort of sickly yellow liquid. Mountain Dew, perhaps? Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Huh, <laughs> that's fine. I think soda's gross, too. No! Noah! <laughs> rot your teeth, it rots your mind. It does not! <laughs> I get good grades and I drink soda. It rots your fighting spirit. I don't need a fight, I'm. I'm actually a pacifist, you know that, right? I don't like to... T whatever, I'm not getting into this. Huh? Why don't I have it? <laughs> so here's just the cat face. <laughs> Alright, fine, I guess we have to go with the tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up! I hate tea. Honestly, yeah, in real life, I do not like tea. Because, like, I've tried it constantly to see if I can like it, but it never works. I just don't like it. Sorry for all you people out there who like tea. I'll take a moment for the water to boil. If I move. Okay, it's all done. Alright. Yeah, my voice is starting to hurt again, so I'll have to switch to just normal. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. I think every time she gets like really intense, then that's when I'm gonna transition to the voice. Other than that, it's pretty good. Oh wait, what did it say before? Shoot, I missed it. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. This explains why I was doing the flowery voice for Undyne! Okay, whatever. No, complete coincidence, honestly. It's just because I can't get my voice right. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. I mean, I am, honestly. <laughs> Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, 
I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. That does sound like something I would say. <laughs> Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. Now I'm the captain. Now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus in the Royal Guard. No! <laughs> no, he's so cool though. He, he needs to... Don't tell him I said that though. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that, he's... he's too innocent nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I'm thinking about what would have happened if I would have killed him, that is morbid. Oh boy. I could never send him into battle, get ripped into little smiling shreds. Oh, that's so... Oh no, don't make me cry at night. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Become Gordon Ramsay's successor, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. What? Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! If he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus I closer than cooking! Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Our burp's coming along. This is why I shouldn't have chosen the soda, I guess. No reason not to go this way. <laughs> Afraid we're gonna be best friends. Let's start the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. I mean, I don't want to hurt people, so I'll pet the vegetables and infect them out. Oh my gosh! Stop petting the enemy! <laughs> I'll show you how it's done! Nah! Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now! Wait, how do you get your faces to like that? We got the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! Buy just by store brand! They're the cheapest! Nah! Just put them in the pot. I mean, I'm not envisioning it with them as anything, so they're just noodles, so I can just shove them in. Throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. Right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. Stir it with a thumb. The more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Harder. Harder. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> oh, let me do it. He's just gonna break the pot. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn to burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. I guess where is that heat? Fire. Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's too... Uh... Oh, shoot. 
Haha. <laughs> Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, this is, I don't like where this is going. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends... Oh. That's okay. Oh, okay. Because if we're not friends... Oh, yep, I saw it coming. It means I can destroy it without regret! <laughs> really intense. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, give me with all you got. Nah. Fake attack. Friends, swing at a dive with all your might. Oh no, I accidentally hit her. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine stick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminds me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, just send like... Let's see, what's like the... Adolf Hitler, just send Adolf Hitler down. Oh wait, he's already dead. Uh, just send someone. I don't know, because it's, it's still... I don't know. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, beat the heck out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> Let's get... The heck out of this flaming house. Sorry, I just don't like to see that. Well, that was fun, right? I'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by stone, okay? Oh, if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. So, oh, so I can just, oh yeah, there's where Papyrus, Papyrus and Undyne said. That's Undyne's house. That's a great place to, uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne, how do you get here so fast? They know how to do this. <laughs> they, just, they know every circumstance that could possibly happen. I ran. <laughs> Dang it, my voice keeps saying. I ran. Wowee, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. Aw. Alright, let's go to... Oh, wrong way. Oh yeah, that was... I was trying to go towards the dummy, which is a weird thing. Oh wait, can I get any astronaut food now? Check that out. Take a space food bar from the cooler. Yeah, can I take another? The cooler's empty. Okay, we're good now. Um, let's see what items do we have. Well, I want to also check the box, probably. Which will be right here. I should also get a CT, probably. Oh, I still have my other astronaut food. But I still want to save room for stuff, so... <sighs> Tra -la -la. Care for a ride? Wait, what is it? There's a dog face! Okay, let's go. 
Then we're off. Oh my. It's a dog boat! <laughs> Cha la la. Temmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Slightly foreshadowing. Oh, that would also hint where it's at. Which then you could figure out how to, like, farm and stuff. You know. Come again sometime. Cha la la. So I guess we'll figure out what's in the lab in the next episode. Now, well, seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. But anyways, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Undertale. If you enjoyed it, please spam the thumbs up with your thumbs up. And subscribe to me for some more awesome daily content. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! -o!